I heard you've been wondering about myopia and why it seems to get worse over time. It's a great question and one that a lot of people are curious about. Let's dive into it, shall we? Yeah, I've noticed that my prescription keeps getting stronger every year. What's up with that? I totally get your frustration. It can be pretty disheartening to see your vision deteriorating, especially if it's happening quickly. But don't worry, you're not alone in this. Myopia, or nearsightedness as it's commonly known, is becoming more and more prevalent worldwide. In fact, some estimates suggest that by 2050, about half of the world's population might be nearsighted. Can you believe that? Wow, that's a lot of people, but why is this happening? Great question. The reason myopia is becoming so common and often getting worse really boils down to two main factors, genetics and lifestyle. Let's break these down a bit. First off, genetics. You know how some traits run in families? Well, myopia is one of those. Research has shown that genetics accounts for about 20 to 35% of the risk of developing myopia. So, if one of your parents is nearsighted, you've got a higher chance of developing it too. And if both your parents are nearsighted, well, then your odds go up even more. Oh, that makes sense. Both my parents wear glasses. I guess I never stood a chance, huh? Well, not necessarily. Remember, genetics is only part of the picture. It increases your risk, sure, but it doesn't guarantee you'll develop myopia. The second factor, which is just as important, if not more so, is lifestyle. Lifestyle? What does that have to do with my eyesight? A lot, actually. Our lifestyles have changed dramatically over the last century or so, especially for young people. We're more sedentary now, spending more time indoors and doing a lot more close-up work. Think about it. Between school, work, and leisure activities, how much time do you spend looking at things up close? Hmm, when you put it that way, probably most of my day, to be honest. Exactly. And it's not just you. This is a trend we're seeing across the board, especially with the rise of smartphones, laptops, and gaming devices. All of this near work puts a lot of strain on our eyes, especially during our younger years when our eyes are still developing. But why does looking at things up close make our eyesight worse? That's a great question. And to be honest, scientists are still trying to figure out the exact mechanism. What we do know is that there's some kind of signaling that goes on between the eye and the brain that controls how the eye develops, especially during our younger years. When we spend a lot of time focusing on close objects, it seems to trigger changes in the eye. The eyeball tends to grow longer, which is what causes myopia. The longer the eyeball, the worse the myopia gets. Is that why my prescription keeps getting stronger? Bingo. As your eyeball elongates, you need stronger lenses to correct your vision. But here's the kicker. It's not just about needing stronger glasses. As the eyeball gets longer, it also increases the risk for other eye problems down the line. Other eye problems? Like what? Well, people with high myopia have a higher risk of developing conditions like cataracts, glaucoma, myopic maculopathy, and retinal detachments. That's why it's so important to try to slow down or stop the progression of myopia, especially in children. Okay, now you're scaring me a bit. Is there anything we can do to stop this? Don't worry. While it's true that these risks exist, being aware of them is the first step in prevention. And yes, there are definitely things we can do to help slow down or even stop the progression of myopia. In the eye care world, we call this myopia management or myopia control. That sounds promising. What does myopia management involve? Myopia management is really a collection of strategies that eye doctors can use to slow down the progression of myopia, especially in children. The goal is to catch it early and intervene before it gets worse. These strategies can include things like 1. Special eye drops. There's a medication called atropine that, when used in very low doses, has been shown to slow down myopia progression in children. 2. Special glasses. Lenses. There are now glasses lenses designed specifically to help control myopia. 2. They work by changing how light focuses on the retina. 3. Contact lenses. There are special contact lenses, both soft and rigid, that can help reshape the cornea and slow down myopia progression. 4. Orthokeratology. This involves wearing special contact lenses at night that reshape the cornea while you sleep. 5. Lifestyle changes. This includes things like spending more time outdoors and taking regular breaks from close-up work. That's a lot of options. How do you know which one to choose? That's where your eye doctor comes in. They can assess your individual situation, your age, how quickly your myopia is progressing, 
your lifestyle, and other factors, and recommend the best approach for you. You mentioned lifestyle changes. Can you tell me more about that? Absolutely. Lifestyle changes are super important, especially for kids. Here are some tips. 1. The 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take a 20-second break and look at something 20 feet away. 1. This gives your eyes a chance to relax. 2. Spend time outdoors. Aim for at least 2 hours a day outside. 2. Research has shown that spending time outdoors can help reduce the risk of myopia onset and progression. 3. Limit screen time. Try to reduce the amount of time spent on digital devices, especially for young children. 4. Proper lighting. Ensure good lighting when doing close-up work to reduce eye strain. 5. Good posture. Maintain proper posture and keep reading material at an appropriate distance, about an arm's length away. Those sound like good habits for everyone, not just people with myopia. You're absolutely right. These are great habits for maintaining overall eye health, whether you have myopia or not. So, if someone's already nearsighted, can these lifestyle changes help? While these changes can't reverse existing myopia, they can potentially help slow down its progression. Plus, they're beneficial for overall eye health. It's especially important for children to adopt these habits early on. Speaking of children, at what age should parents start worrying about myopia? That's a great question. It's never too early to start thinking about eye health, but myopia typically starts developing in childhood, often between the ages of 6 and 14. However, it can start earlier or later. The best approach is to have regular eye exams. For children, the American Optometric Association recommends 1. A first eye exam at 6 months 2. Another exam at 3 years 3. Another before starting school, around 5 or 6 years old 4. Then yearly exams after that these regular checkups allow eye doctors to catch any issues early, including the onset of myopia. Wow, I had no idea kids needed eye exams that young. Many people don't, but early detection is key. Remember, kids might not realize they're having vision problems. They might just think that's how everyone sees the world. That makes sense? So let's say a child is diagnosed with myopia. What happens then? Great question. If a child is diagnosed with myopia, the eye doctor will typically discuss myopia management options with the parents. The goal is to slow down the progression of myopia as much as possible. The exact treatment plan will depend on various factors, including 1. The child's age 2. How severe the myopia is 3. How quickly it's progressing 4. The child's lifestyle and daily activities 5. The family's preferences and ability to comply with treatment the doctor might recommend one or a combination of the treatments we discussed earlier, special glasses, contact lenses, eye drops, or orthokeratology. They'll also likely emphasize the importance of those lifestyle changes we talked about. It sounds like managing myopia in kids is pretty involved. It can be, but it's so important. Remember, the goal isn't just about reducing the need for stronger glasses. It's about protecting long-term eye health and reducing the risk of those more serious eye conditions we mentioned earlier. What about adults? Can anything be done if you're already nearsighted? Absolutely. While it's true that our eyes generally stop growing and changing as much once we reach our early 20s, that doesn't mean adults with myopia should just ignore it. For adults, the focus is often on 1. Ensuring you have the correct prescription to see clearly. 2. Protecting your eyes from harmful UV rays with good quality sunglasses. 3. Maintaining good eye health habits like the 20-20-20 rule and regular breaks from screen time. 4. Having regular eye exams to monitor for any myopia-related complications. Some adults might also be candidates for refractive surgery, like LASIK, which can correct myopia. However, this is something that needs to be discussed with an eye doctor, as it's not suitable for everyone. I've heard of LASIK. Is that a cure for myopia? Well, LASIK and other refractive surgeries can correct the refractive error that causes myopia, allowing you to see clearly without glasses or contacts. However, it's important to understand that these surgeries don't prevent the eye health risks associated with high myopia. If your eyeball has already elongated significantly, those risks still exist even after LASIK. Also, LASIK doesn't stop the eye from changing. Some people might experience a slight regression over time and need reading glasses as they age. Interesting. It sounds like there's no real cure for myopia then? 
You're right. Currently, there's no way to completely reverse myopia once it develops. That's why there's such a strong focus on prevention and control, especially in children. The goal is to catch it early and slow it down as much as possible. This is all really fascinating. Is there any new research or treatments on the horizon? Absolutely. Myopia is a hot topic in eye research right now. Some areas scientists are exploring include 1. Genetic research Trying to identify specific genes associated with myopia to better understand who might be at risk. 2. Environmental factors Looking more closely at how things like light exposure, diet, and even gut bacteria might influence myopia development. 3. New drug therapies Researchers are always looking for new medications that might help control myopia progression. 4. Combination therapies Studying how different treatments might work together for better results. 5. Long-term studies Following people over many years to better understand the long-term effects of different myopia control strategies. There's even some interesting research into things like red light therapy for myopia control, although that's still in the early stages. Wow, it sounds like there's a lot going on in this field. There really is. It's an exciting time in eye care. As myopia becomes more prevalent worldwide, there's a lot of focus on finding better ways to manage it. This has been really informative. Any final thoughts or advice? I'm glad you found it helpful. I think the key takeaways are 1. Myopia is becoming increasingly common, but there are ways to manage it. 2. Early detection and intervention are crucial, especially for children. 3. Lifestyle factors play a big role. Spending time outdoors and taking breaks from close-up work can help. 4. Regular eye exams are important for everyone, not just those who already have vision problems. 5. If you're concerned about myopia, talk to an eye doctor. 5. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation. Remember, your eyes are precious. Taking care of them now can help ensure good vision and eye health for years to come.